Two minute tool tip Tuesday from Sunset Valley Ranch. Wooden tool handles. Let's make something. Got an idea. How about a two minute tool tip Tuesday? How's that sound? So I'm gonna get started with one now and it'll probably be Tuesday evening before I get it uploaded, but hey, it's a start. All right, we've all got tools with wooden handles, right? And I've seen every wooden handle tool I've had, I've either had to replace the handle or replace the whole tool because the, the wood just rots away, you leave it outside in the weather. I have pretty much an open pole barn that, you know, stuff in there is going to get weathered. And I need to do something about the tools that are in there. Um, I don't want to have to replace them. I got a good bunch of shovels and rakes and hoes and some of them are fiberglass handles and whatever uh, but the wooden ones you know there's some preventative measures you can take that'll like make the wood last a long long time and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now stay tuned a couple things you're gonna need sandpaper 100 grit 120 grit 80 grit somewhere in there get some you'll need it 4 aught steel wool it's cheap, you can find it in any hardware store, look around the painting supplies. A couple of rags, rubber gloves if you care, and the magic thing that makes it work, boiled linseed oil. All right, I know this handle needs to be replaced, but you know, for the purposes of demonstration, we'll see, see how it goes. So, uh, sometimes it's easier to break the, uh, break the weathered wood open by scraping it. You can use a, I don't know, a spoke shave or a pocket knife, whatever. Um, and sometimes it helps save you a little sanding. You don't have to get it all with the knife, but it, you know, a little bit helps. All right, it's mostly scraped down. We'll move on to the sandpaper. No, I'm not. All right, so we're done. We're done with the sandpaper. We're gonna move on to steel wool. What does the steel wool do? Well, when you sand this down, it's actually kind of rough. And what this will do is take those uh, real small wood fibers off that are standing up. That gives it that rough, that rough feel. It doesn't take much. Just. That's already as smooth as a brand new baseball bat right there. Or a pool cue or something. That, this stuff looks wonderful. Now I'm not being too thorough on this. I've got to replace the handle. It's still got some usability, but it looks like crap. It needs to be restored. But that's a subject for another video. There we go. Oh, it's still pretty wet than the last one. Look at that, man. It is making that grain come right out. It's beautiful. You got a nasty old tool like this. Look at that. That's awesome. That's good. That's awesome. I don't have fingernails. Shut up. Pay special attention. If you have something that you know, that comes apart, take it apart and do that. But I, it's starting to rot in here. There's no point in taking it apart right now. But if you got something like post hole diggers or one of these or something with a handle that easily unbolt, that's not you know friction fit like a hammer handle. Uh, friction fit, whatever that is. I know. God forbid I misspeak on a YouTube video, the expert the armchair experts will come out of the woodwork. Oh, you're an idiot. My dad taught me that before I was born. Oh, yeah. I'm real hesitant to do another chainsaw video. Let's see what I'm... Anyway. There it is. All right, so there you have it. Boiled linseed oil. A little sand, uh, sandpaper, a little bit of steel wool, maybe your pocket knife, a little bit of patience. And when you first do this, you should do it to new tools too. Just get the varnish off of them, sand them, scrape them, whatever. 
get the get the wood exposed and go ahead and treat them and you do it uh, once a week no no the old timers say you should do it once a day for a week once a week for a month and once a month for a year and then every year after that so that's not too bad it, it you give it you know coats and it soaks into the wood and protects it and that'll make a wooden handle last unless you break it uh, forever pretty much it prevents you know bacterial growth and decay it prevents water absorption it repels water on the outside um, tool your tools can get wet and they won't get wonky or weird the heads won't come loose uh, you get a lot of benefits there so that's it for this two minute tool tip Tuesday be good do good and do the best you can with what you got we'll see you on the next video